this week is all about seeking excitement, hiking our way through the Mighty Five, and finding home in various parts of Utah's deserts. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and join the adventure! Today's adventure is canyoning. We just took a super bumpy ride into the trailhead, pretty steep little hike up, got into all of our gear, and now we're just doing the rest of the hike into the canyon. This is pretty cool. Close the road, just How was that? Uh, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> Exploring the Slot Canyon and doing various rappels along the way was not only an exhilarating experience, but such a cool way to catch a glimpse into Utah's backcountry. That was cool. Hey, Joe. <laughs> What'd you do? You need your phone. I sunk in the mud. <laughs> that sucks. There's the culprit. Oh. <laughs> Guide is playing a trick on one of the other guides. <laughs> We're currently attaching his buggy to a tree. Third day trying in the lottery to be allowed to hike Angel's Landing. We've got our results and let's see what they say. Ready? Uh, I'm a negative. Negative. Two negatives, Dad. Come on, Ross. No. You are a loser. Losers. Happy Joe. Come on, Joe. I had a really good day. I just don't feel well. That's okay. This morning, um, we're just taking a bit of a lazy morning because there is a solar eclipse today. So we all get these super cool glasses so we can stare at the sun without burning our eyes. I wish there was a way to show the GoPro what I'm seeing through these glasses right now. We've decided to take it easy today. I woke up feeling not the best yesterday. We're just kind of having a lazy day today. We went into town and had some showers and now I'm just doing some editing. Okay, so this is our last attempt to try to get Angel's Landing. If we don't get it on this one, then we're just apparently not meant to do it. Three, two, one. I'm a loser. Oh, me too. Me too. Fudgicles. That Looks like we are not doing Angel's Landing. We're all gonna do the Narrows tomorrow. Gonna do the narrows. Yay! Yeah. Joe can't wait to go through cold water. Today we are heading up to hike the bottom section of the Narrows in Zion. Fortunately, Joe's still feeling a little under the weather. It's just me and my parents. We went and got outfitted this morning with uh, dry bibs and kind of canyoneering shoes. I woke up feeling not the best again today. I'm just hanging out on the couch in Dane's parents' RV while three of them drove Luna into Zion and um, are hopefully having a really good day. We need to switch out here. 
All ready to go. This place is spectacular. Like around every bend, it's just new canyon walls that are just beautiful. All right, time so to here. test these suits. It's soft bottom though, so yeah. I'm running. You're running. <laughs> slow motion running. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> we just passed a fork in the river and decided to explore the smaller canyon. I wish uh, we had all day to keep exploring, but time's running out. <laughs> Gotta get back to the van at some point. Five hours later, I am still on the couch. I think uh, Dane and his parents are having a lot more fun than I am. Today we made our way to Bryce Canyon National Park and we are just doing the Navajo Trail to Queen's Garden Trail. We're just making our way up the Peekaboo Trail and it is stunning. This opens right up to hoodoos everywhere. decided on Bighorn Canyon today just because the other canyon we were initially going to do still has two to three feet of water which I just wasn't really up to today still not feeling the best but that's okay apparently there's two uh, slot canyons that you can explore once you're down there and I'm happy because we get to bring Mowgli today today's hike is six miles round trip and the first part of the hike is walking along a wash which is basically like a dried out riverbed. Mowgli's not allowed to drink the water here so he gets to be carried over. We just reached a cow fence that got washed out in a flood and if you can see behind me it's uh, super tall so that just goes to show how how much water and how quickly it comes rushing through here at times. One of the things that really drew me to the national parks in Utah is how vastly different they are compared to anything around where we live. Oh, oh yeah. Look at this. Oh, that is sweet. Just had to do a bit of scrambling to get up to the next section of, uh, of this Slaw Canyon here. Yeah, I don't know. You can do it. I don't think so. It's honestly doing things like this that just make me feel like a kid again. Like just running around, jumping from rock to rock. Look at this little dude. There we go. Remember all those handprints on the walls, Mom? Oh, is that why? As a kid? We've just finished the canyon part of this hike and are back onto the wash. And it is hot. Even though it is mid October, the heat is relentless. Oh, we're super thirsty. We did it. Woohoo! Oh. Woohoo! Right. We're done! Da, 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 da. Da, da. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> Last night after hiking Bighorn Canyon, we drove about an hour and a half up to the outskirts of Capitol Reef National Park. Today we are doing the Grand Wash Trail and then finishing off with the Cassidy Arch Trail. Unfortunately, Joe uh, is still not feeling great. So once again, just me and my parents. There is Joe and Mowgli. 
somehow walked right past the trailhead for the Cassidy Arch and are backtracking. Yeah. How did we miss that? All right, pretty obvious sign that we missed. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, the Cassidy Arch, which we're hiking up to at the moment, is named after the famous Western outlaw Butch Cassidy. And apparently, uh, somewhere along this trail to this arch is where he used to hide out after doing his bank robberies and stuff. It's crazy how quickly the landscape here changes. We're just in uh, Capitol Reef National Park, and now in this weird Mars-like desert area. Good morning. It is 7.44 a.m. and we're in Moab camping out in the desert, just going into the Arches National Park to do a bunch of hiking. And we're just having a great, great trip. We uh, started this morning with a beautiful sunrise at our camp spot we found yesterday. And we are now in Arches National Park. We've made it to the Delicate Arch. And that is the lineup over there to take your picture in the arch. One at a time, taking all the all the poses. I imagine during peak hours, the lineup's even longer, but yeah, it's just kind of ruins the beauty of the place. Five star quality restaurant food here. This morning we hiked down to the Meza Arch in Canyonlands to watch the sunrise. It's pretty. <laughs> and in classic fashion. Way too many humans. <laughs> <laughs> Just always super packed. After running a few errands in town, we are back out in the desert and we found the most beautiful camping spot for tonight again. We have lucked out with just the most beautiful spots and we have this one all to ourselves, so I'm uh, really excited to spend the night and Mowgli's just being wild. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, this is where we're parked for the night. We've got Luna and Lulu and just doing a little bit of setup so we can enjoy the evening. Dad and Mowgli playing fetch. The one thing about being in all these national parks is that Mowgli doesn't get to do much running around, but we make up for it whenever we get to the campground. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting our little channel. We love you, we appreciate you, and we'll catch you in the next one.